is just a small haul. All the items will be listed below. And of course I do pictures in the screen here. This is cute because I'm going to, okay, so first things first. So I have, with this order, I was able to pick two free items, which I don't know if it was this order or something I ordered before, but they came in this box. So I have rice raw pulp essence. And that's wrapped in plastic. Um, and then this vitamin C even skin tone. That's what vitamin C is awesome for. And I really enjoy it. So we're going to give that a shot. And then the rest of these items, they're just like this. So I'm going to show you what they are. And of course, I think I got everything out of the bag. Have you ever done the wax melts and stamps? So I have, um, I have some handles, so I just ordered this one. This is a B. So what this is, is an embossing stamp. So I, I did order some of the little, what do they call these? They call these, that's what they call them, sealing wax beads. I got ones that they have, diff they have different colorings, of course. So these have really pretty fall colors, some pinks in there. And what they are is, um, there's another thing that you can use to melt these with. And my plan is, so they're kind of like, like this. Little sunflowers, these. And they're all wax. So you put a couple in this little like, um, oh, I should have it out. But anyway, so this would attach, it screws onto my little handle. I would melt some of the wax, pour it onto a letter, pour it onto a letter. Um, I'm going to use silicone because what I bought were some of these little frames. Have you seen these? So what you do is now you set this down on the silicone. Let me take one out. Let me take one out of these. And I got all different kinds of shapes. That one. I got this one. Straight round. Like a flower shape here. And then so this one has more of a scal uh, scalloped edge. And so you sit this down on like your silicone mat. You melt the beads in there. You take your stamp, which has a handle on it, and you stamp it. You let it sit there a second, but not too long. And then you can pull the stamp off. And then you would pull this off, and you're going to have a nice scalloped edge. All kinds of things with them. Um, when so here are the sunflower wax melts. And I put it on the little burner with a little tea light underneath it. And you can see the stamp right here, the bee stamp. Now this is a very fabulous bee stamp. I mean, it is so intricate. It's a deeply cut one, and it's gonna come up with a really nice image on your stamp, your wax stamp. So uh, I let this melt. It probably takes a, about a good five minutes, um, maybe less. I didn't really time that part, sorry about that. Um, but here you can actually see the nice cuts into that stamp. And I attached a handle that I had. So they're pretty universal. I do have some smaller stamps. And then I use this silicone round that I got from Timu. And then here's the scalloped edge frame that I bought off of Timu that I showed you earlier in this video, as well as many other ones. Now you can see the wax is melting here. It's going pretty quick now. And then once it's ready, you're going to pour it into the frame here onto the silicone mat. And you're going to see that I didn't really melt enough. I, you know, it's going to take a little experience doing this a little bit more frequently to know exactly how many. But for this purpose, you're going to see me, um, it's going to be a learning opportunity because, yes, it wasn't enough wax melted. Um, but you're going to see the stamp come up. And then you're going to see what I do to not waste the wax so here it is it peels right off everything lifts right up so i can tell right away it's not going to match now i do like the swirly colors i did not mix my colors i had it all swirled and i just take my scissors because the wax is cooled enough i can just take it cut it up into little pieces and remelt it so nothing is wasted now of course if you were putting this onto an envelope or a piece of paper or cardstock you wouldn't be able to do that um so I kind of recommend that if you're not sure what you're, where you're going to place it, you can always do it this way that I'm showing and then use some hot glue or something like that to attach it to something else or some other type of glue or adhesive. Now here, I still didn't melt enough, but it's a little bit better. It's going to be a little bit better. And 
as I push it down, see, so I'm just shy a little bit, but I'm not gonna redo this one because I still think, now I'm showing you these other frames that I did buy, um, just like I did in the earlier part of this video. And that heart one, it's off, off camera a little bit, but it is so cute and they are kind of large. So uh, my plan is I'm gonna make some charms with these um, and set them in resin. But you can also use those paint tip markers and kind of like just colorize some of the embossed areas of this stamp. And there you go, it's got the swirls and the colors I wanted. It's beautiful. Oh, and I also got this little spoon too to help with the wax. So yeah, that's that haul. It's quick and easy. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do that. Take a look at the giveaway, follow those rules. And I hope to see you there at that video. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.